Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the founder of IgnitionGolf.com. In this tip, I want to talk about the first 45 degrees in your downswing. So what am I getting at? 45 degrees? Huh? I don't get it. Well, it's real simple. When you go into your backswing, you are going to have your shoulders rotating upwards of 90 degrees, your hips would move 45 degrees, and your knees would move 22 and a half degrees. So, in your golf swing, what you want to do when you start down is you want to look for the first 45 degrees. So what I'm getting at right here, if I hit the top of my golf swing and my hips are at 45 degrees, you will see in better players golf swings, when they're up here, as soon as the lead arm is around parallel to the ground, right here, the hips are already back to the ball. So that means that in this millisecond from here to here, we have already turned 45 degrees. So why that's important is because if I keep turning, I will be around 45 degrees open as I hit the ball. Then you see the cheek right here and the back foot comes off the ground. So when I watch your average player hit a golf ball, they hit the top of the back swing. Usually the back knee straightens. That makes the hips move 60 degrees. So now the problem with this position is if you hit the top here from right here to right there is a quarter second in time. You blink your eyes in 0.33 of a second. This is 0.25 of a second. You've already over rotated. So you have to turn more than a pro to get to here in 0.25 of a second. So what you're going to do was you've, when you've over rotated, you're going to start to use your arms. So by the time you get to this position, you're still going to see this forward leg right here. So now as you keep rotating, you're just going to basically be facing the ball as you hit the ball. You might be five degrees open, maybe 10, maybe 15, but there is no way on earth you're going to be 45 degrees by the time you hit that golf ball. So once again, we're going to coil up. Your hips should move 45 degrees on a 90 degree shoulder rotation, half. So right here in pros swings, first move is kind of quick with the lower body. So we're facing the ball when the lead arm is parallel to the ground. And if you don't believe me, just take a look at a video of any pro on TV, freeze them right here in the downswing, and you will see that the hips are back to the ball. Right here. That means they've already rotated 45 degrees. Now, as the club hits the ball, we're upwards of another 45 degrees. Some may be a little less, some might be a little more. <laughs> so basically, a pro is moving 90 degrees so they have 90 degree body rotation in a quarter second. So from right here, I'm moving 45, then another 45. So that is 90 degrees rotation in a quarter second. Your average person is up at the top. They've moved way too much. They're way out of position. There's not enough time to rotate upwards of 45 degrees by the time you hit that golf ball because you've moved too much in the backswing. And, you know, you're probably not, you don't probably know how to use your lower body. So what are you going to do? You're going to whack at it with your arms. And now you're just facing the ball as you hit the ball. And then, you know, your friends or you read somewhere that, hey, you got to see this cheek an impact. And you can never do it because you're just facing the ball as you hit the ball. All right. So what you want to do to get this, <laughs> you know, takes a little bit of practice, but I've got this club right here at 45. So you go to like this, I just doing it with one hand right here. Just go to the top, check this first, make sure you're 45. Now all you do, just take your belt buckle and point it back to the ball, back to the ball, back to the ball, back to the ball. Just keep doing that just to even be able to do it. You know, you're probably not even good at it. So let's get good at it. So there's a 
line here and a line there. So you just keep doing that over and over and over until you can do that. Be very careful that you're not over rotating your hips on the way back. Watch this back knee. You don't want to straighten this knee because now your knees are 45. Your hips are 60 on a 90 degree shoulder rotation. You are way out of position here. You don't even have enough time to do this. So you want to keep your knees, the, especially the back knee, flexed here. See, I'm already in position. It's way easier for me to do this because I don't have to move that much. I only got to move a few inches. Then I keep rotating and now I'm upwards of 45 when I hit the ball. All right, so give that drill a try and no kidding, you got to do this a lot. Just do it around the house over and over and over. Maybe you're on your patio and there's some slats on your patio or, you know, tiles on your floor. Just think, okay, my hips are here. Now I'm going to turn my hips so that they're parallel or if the ball was there, back to the ball, back to the ball in a mirror, let's say. Mirror right there. See how your hips rotate and then your first move, hips back to the ball, back to the ball, back to the ball. Okay, then you'll start to develop the first 45 degrees in your swing. Well, if you get the first 45, highly likely that you'll get the second 45. If you never get the first 45, you will never get the second. That's why this is so important. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now for over 25 years. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples and I'll send you some free samples of my book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, if you'd like to learn this type of swing, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples or click the link at the end of this video or even below this video and I'll send you the free samples right away.